Hello class, my name is Thompson, I'm a trainer at Rubavu Technical Corporate and today we are going to learn together the module which is called Repair Handheld Metal Detector. And today's topic, we are going to see how to prepare a handheld metal detector for repairing. At the end of this session, each runner will be able to select and arrange different tools, materials and equipment required for handheld metal detector repairing. As we are running together, I invite each and every one to take some notes and do a practical exercise with me. Firstly, you may ask yourself, what is a metal detector? A metal detector is an instrument that detects the presence of metal nearby, as you can see at your own screen. And also, are useful for finding metal inclusion hidden within object or metal buried underground. As you can see, you may also ask yourself, what is a handheld metal detector? A handheld metal detector are designed for quick and efficient body search scanning for knife, weapon, and considered metal object. They are easy to operate, simply requiring a single sweep across a subject body or across a bag to detect hidden metal object, as you can see at your own screen. As you already finished to know what is a handheld metal detector, now we are going to prepare the workplace accordingly in order to repair a handheld metal detector. As a professional technician, always when you want to repair, you have to protect yourself against any hazard which may occur while you are doing any kind of repairing. In that way, you have to select the PPE, which are personal protective equipment meant to protect you against any hazard while you are doing any kind of repairing, such as gross helmet, overall, noise mask, googlers, safety shoes, and so on. While you finish to select PPE, now we are going to select tools, materials, and equipment required for handheld metal detector repairing. As you can see, we are going to start by type of tools required for handheld metal detector repairing. This one is called a screwdriver, which are used to assembling and disassembling, pliers, which is used for cutting purpose. This one is iron key, are used to assembling and disassembling according to the shape of the screw. There is a soldering iron, the soldering pump, cleaning brush, and finally, this one is the magnifying grass, which is used to zoom in, as you can see at your own screen. And now we are going to see the type of equipment required for handheld metal detector repairing. As I already told you, we first resurrect the PPE, which are the personal protective equipment, as I already told you before. And this one is called a screwdriver machine, air blower gun, there is a soldering station, there is a handheld metal detector, as you can see at your own screen. And finally, we are going to select the type of materials required for handheld metal detector repairing. There is a soldering tin, there is a glue, insulator tape, and after all, electronic component, such as resistor, capacitor, inductor, transistor, Tristo, and so on. Those are the main tools, materials, and equipment required for handheld metal detector repairing. As you can see, now we are going to see the main part of a handheld metal detector. And before that, we have to remind ourselves about assembling and disassembling. Assembling is the process to fix together separated pieces in order to form one wall. While disassembling is the process to break down or to separate one device into many pieces. As you can see at your own screen, we are going to see the main part of a handheld metal detector. 
And now we are going to start by external parts. As you can see, there is a battery cover, as you can see. There is on and off switch. There is a rubber waterproof handle. There is a detection area, as you can see at your own screen. This one is a detection area. There is a LED alarm. Those are the main external part of this handheld metal detector. And now, as you can see at your own screen, by the use of a screwdriver, we are going to disassemble this handheld metal detector. As you can see now, we are going to see the internal part of the handheld metal detector. As you can see, this one is called a buzzer. It is used to sound when this handheld metal detector detects any metal around it. This buzzer gives us the signal by sounding. There is an integrated circuit IC which are embedded to the circuit of this handheld metal detector circuit. There is a power supply or a battery which is used to supply 9 voltage to this handheld metal detector. There is a coil which are act like a sense of this handheld metal detector while we are detecting any metal around it, as you can see at your own screen. And finally, there is electronic component such as a diode, resistor, capacitor, and so on, which are embedded to the circuit of our handheld metal detector. Those are the main internal and external parts of a handheld metal detector. Why we finished to see the main part of a handheld metal detector, and we already finished to select different tools, materials, and equipment required for handheld metal detector repairing. And now we are going to arrange tools, materials, and equipment according to the types. And also, you arrange them according to manufacturer instruction, as you can see at your own screen. Thank you for your attention. In our next session, we will see how to rectify a handheld metal detector. As we're running together, I hope you keep doing practical exercise with me. See you next time. Enjoy.